Hi everyone, in today's video I'm aiming for some simplicity, some really simple shots. But it's always a struggle for me, particularly in the area that I'm in. But we'll give it a go anyway. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. This morning I came out with every intention of just keeping it simple, finding really simple, clean compositions. Uh, we've got almost no cloud in the top of the sky, a bit of cloud along the horizon. I'm up on a sort of uh, rocky beach area with some rock pools. And uh, I've been struggling for a while now to find a composition that I like. Uh, I've tried several different positions, I've been wading around in the water, sort of like shin deep. And I finally got something that I think looks okay. Sometimes when I'm struggling to find a composition, I find that just shooting something, anything, will help me get past the creative block, even if the image I get isn't any good at all. And that's really what happened here. I mean, I went on to shoot a load of video about what the composition was and how I was focus stacking. But in the end, the image that I got was actually terrible. In fact, it's so bad, I'm not even going to show it to you. But it served its purpose. It got me thinking about what I was trying to achieve in a different way. Yeah, sometimes simplicity just requires you to think a little bit differently. I was so focused on getting low down and wide angle, I never thought about the alternative. And the alternative is to go telephoto. So I've got my 70 to 200 on, and I'm, all I've got is a single rock in the scene and uh, focused on that, just water all the way around. I'm leaving a little tiny bit of texture in the water. I did think about just taking it complete long exposure, but I just think a little bit of a ripple effect in the water might add a bit of interest. Uh, 200 mil, focused on the rock. Doing another one with just a single rock in the scene. Uh, this time I'm putting the rock in the middle and it kind of has a bit of an angle to it and then some reflections underneath. Again, 200 mil focused on the rock.
just noticed something that I didn't notice when I was out shooting. It's noticeable more in the second of the minimalist images. And if you look at what I thought was reflections, what we've actually got is a window right down to the pebbles that are on the, the bed of this rock pool. Uh, and that's been caused by the fact that, of course, the rock above the surface is creating a shadow and taking all the glare off of the water and giving a clear view down. I didn't notice it at the time. Uh, it's also happened on the first image, but it's not quite as noticeable there. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention it. It wasn't an intended effect, but uh, now that I've seen it, I actually quite like it. Anyway, let's go back out to this morning's shoot and see what else I managed to do. So I'm waiting to see if we're going to get anything at well, after sunrise. Uh, sunrise was seven minutes ago, but that low cloud out on the horizon is just blocking all the light. A few people around fishing, people out on kayaks and things like that. But, as I said, no light. Okay, the sun's just come up through the clouds now and I've just quickly rushed to set this composition up. Probably the last one in the morning, I don't know yet. Um, there's a rock in the lower part of the frame. Then we've got some water with a bit, bit of a glow in it. Nice still water, a bit of a glow. Then we've got uh, a rocky area. Then we've got a little bit of sea. Then we've got the sun. And basically the sun and the rock are across the middle of the frame. Okay, not exactly on theme this one, but I couldn't resist it. There's a guy fishing on the rocks out there. So I've just actually set up a composition with a bit of the rock pool and a few rocks in the foreground and the rocky area, then the guy fishing. And then in the background, we've got the shape of the coastline and Pouche Campana Mountain, just catching a bit of light. Yeah, well after sunrise now and I think I'm done for the morning. Uh, yeah, I think I may have got a couple of images that are okay. Uh, hopefully I kept mostly to my uh, objective of keeping it simple, apart from probably the last shot and maybe the first one, I don't know, we'll have to see. You all have already seen what I managed to do. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget about giving it a like, sharing it on social media. Please leave me that comment. I do love to hear from you. And uh, if you're new here, don't forget about hitting the subscribe button before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.